Welcome back everyone to another video and today you're going to see my journey to getting a South Park Snow Day Platinum yeah. Trophy. Now, to put this lightly, I fucking hate this game. I'm sure you've all heard bad reviews by now, it's not just me that has not been having fun playing this game. So, take that as you will if you're gonna try and play this game yourself and maybe even try and get the Platinum Trophy yourself. The game itself is not that bad, the only thing that really sucks about just playing the game is the repetitive nature of it. All you're doing is fighting the same sort of enemies over and over and over again. But when it comes to going for the Platinum, that adds extra layers of frustration and boredom. But let's not waste any more time, let's jump into this and let's see the entire process of acquiring South Park Snow Day's Platinum Trophy. So during the first chapter of the story is when I unlock my first trophy for simply defeating an ENT or an Ent, I don't really know, with bleeding damage. I didn't mean to do this, but I was in a battle with a bunch of elves and there was this tree that started attacking me, so I had to sort him out real quick and just like that, he was defeated and I got my first trophy. Shortly after that, I had my first boss fight, which was against Kyle, and this was actually very hard. His power was destroying me and I couldn't get close to him, so I spent a good 10 minutes just firing my bow and arrow at him until he was defeated. I had allies, by the way, but they all died, and when I tried to revive them, I couldn't because I didn't know how. We got there in the end, though, and got a silver trophy for beating him, so that's pretty cool. Then came another boss fight, and this time it was against Princess Kenny. Again, I don't know what the hell is going on here. He's just firing bombs and flying about the place, shooting rainbows and stuff, so I tried my best, but my allies did most of the work this time. They actually got the final hit on him as well, which defeated him and popped a gold trophy for defeating Princess Kenny at the town square. <laughs> In chapter 3, the mission was to collect items and return them to some guy while enemies was trying to stop me. I was determined to make these deliveries without any combat, by the way, because at this point in the game, I'm two hours deep, and it's pretty much been the same thing over and over again when it comes to fighting. So I want to get this done ASAP because it's just so fucking infuriating doing the same fighting shit. Over and over again, like, give me a fucking break. Once I delivered the three items, I headed on my way and the trophy popped rather unexpectedly. And this was for becoming an honorary member of the Marsh Walker Association or something, I don't know. <laughs> then we had our next boss fight and this was against Stan. We started off by firing cannons to break his shield. Then he came down and we were able to fight him in close quarters, which was pretty nice. It didn't take much wearing him down before he was defeated and we got our trophy for defeating Stan at the playground. Now during a fight later on, I saw the opportunity to take out enemies with a cannon. I think I had a triple collat here because once I fired at a few enemies, I got a trophy for defeating three enemies with the cannonballs. Another combat related trophy was to simply defeat 10 enemies with air attacks. So I just kept jumping on enemies, attacking them, until I got 10 and the trophy popped. The next trophy was completely by accident because I was actually getting my ass beat here. So I pulled off the move only few people in this world can, the fart escape. Once I activated my power, I set myself flying to safety while also farting on three enemies, unlocking me a trophy. There's a trophy for dancing while reviving an ally, so I went for that one next. And I figured out by, I think just standing beside the enemy, that's how you revive them, so. Right before doing that, I popped an emote and then revived my teammate and that got me the trophy. Now something I haven't touched upon yet is cards and there's plenty to choose from in this game to give you certain abilities. I got a rare card but decided to make it even better so I upgraded it to a legendary and that ended up being a trophy. And then during another battle I noticed that my health and my teammates health was absolutely cooked so I stuck down a healing totem and this was perfect because I got a trophy here for healing 150 points of damage with a single totem across all of my allies. The next boss fight was actually a mini boss called Leanne. Eww, Leanne! And she was quite tall and had minions that were just like her. But me and my AI boys took them all down, no problem! And once we did, we got a trophy for defeating Leanne at the church. Then we had a boss fight against Cartman, and I'll be honest, I was just swinging my weapon, hoping for the best here. I don't know what was going on again, but... It was just so chaotic, so don't blame me, alright? And of course my ally defeated him, which is fantastic, so... I guess once my ally defeated Cartman instead of me, I got a gold trophy for defeating Cartman in Foot 
Hells. Ooh, Wilson. Hello, Jackie. Something smells nice. And that brings us to the final boss, a giant poo. <laughs> we had to collect toilet paper and fire it at him out of a cannon. J just the, the most normal thing I've seen in South Park. It was a rinse and repeat process of doing this until the big poo disintegrated and was defeated, unlocking us a gold trophy for defeating Mr. Hanky. So after completing the story, I still had a good amount of trophies left, so I went back into chapter one and found a group of four enemies, did the old Shitter Magenta 5000 and made them all vomit, which unlocked a trophy. Then I used the moon jump ability to defeat an enemy by jumping high in the air and crashing down on them. This sounds easy, but it wasn't because the bots kept stealing my kills. I couldn't land on someone for the final blow. They kept stealing the kills. But I managed to land on someone who was weak enough eventually and got him killed unlocking me the trophy. Then I used my wand to spray fire across a bunch of enemies which unlocked a trophy for setting four or more enemies on fire. Now here's something that I was just so glad to learn. It turns out you have to play through the story again. As if the first time wasn't fun enough. However, this time there's some woman that gives you some bonus quest or some kind of like extra thing to do in the chapter this time. I don't really know and I don't really care. So when I finished the first chapter for the second time, I got a trophy for finishing a map with one extra rule book applied. I haven't got a clue what all this is about, but I guess that woman gave me a, a rule book. I, I don't, what does it mean to finish a map though? Like what, like to finish the chapter maybe? I, fuck, I don't know. I just don't know! Then my focus was back on the cards. I had to upgrade 10 uncommon cards to rare cards and this took ages because you have to collect enough toilet roll to buy the upgrades. So a very tedious and boring trophy right here but we eventually got it done and got the trophy. Once I accepted the woman's tasks and finished chapter 3 I got the trophy that I was after when it comes to this woman's quest or whatever and it was for finding and accepting all of Nicole's so this is what they are, Infernal Packs. Infernal Packs across an entire run. Now this next trophy was very luck based, which thank God I had the luck I needed here. So when you get the upgrade cards, they're decided at random and I needed the cheesy zombie upgrade, which I luckily got. Then I had to kill a Necro Dancer, which is a certain type of enemy and then use that cheesy zombie upgrade to revive the enemy and bang the trophy pot. That sounds very complicated. And it is. It is. While I was going for these BS luck based trophies, I accidentally hit right on the D-pad and the guy farted, which ended up being a trophy. <sighs> I wasn't expecting this, so I wasn't recording. Yeah, my bad, but that's a, a very simple trophy. At least we have, you know, one simple trophy in here. Then I had to rely on my enemies using the vampire card and I had to defeat 10 of these vampire enemies. I did most of these during my first playthrough, so when I was trying to get the trophy, I only had to defeat two vampires, and when I did, the beautiful bronze trophy popped. Oh yes it did, Drew McIntyre! <laughs> Alright, so I'm back on chapter 4 because I'm trying to tackle a couple of trophies here. One being, I have to acquire an ultra legendary card, and I have! 500 toilet papers! So I need to find one of them guys that, you know, are dealing cards and I have to hope to get a legendary card and then I can spend 300 toilet paper to, they're my teammates to then re... upgrade it to ultra legendary Um, that's easier said than done though since I don't think I've ever seen a legendary card in my life and this trophy could potentially take me years to actually get Um. Hopefully not though. And then secondly, we gotta go back to the Cartman boss fight and we have to defeat Cartman without hitting any of the snow clones. And you'll see what I mean once we get there. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't read up on these trophies because there are other trophies tied to boss fights that I've missed as well and I could have got them done in my first playthrough. But I'm so sorry for not reading every single detail of every trophy before playing the game! This is definitely a recurrent thing with South Park Snow Day. Missed opportunities. There's so many BS and luck based trophies in this game that I could have maybe got done at some point if I knew about it and now I'm here just spending hours trying to scrangle for them. Replaying the same shitty fight scenes. And... 
This has got to be the most repetitive game I've ever played in my life, by the way. It's literally the same thing over and over and over. Right, little ginger, shit! Come. And it's also one of the most frustrating games. I spent like 12 hours straight just fighting the same fucking enemies over and over and over again. The game essentially is fight a bunch of enemies, move on. Fight a bunch of enemies, <laughs> enemies, move on. Get a card, move on. Fight a bunch of enemies, move on. Boss fight at the end of the chapter, next chapter. Fight a bunch of enemies, move on. You know, it's like Call of Duty campaigns. You just shoot a bunch of enemies, move to the next area, shoot a bunch of enemies, move to the next area, shoot a bunch of it. Like, it's so fucking boring. I right, got a gravity bomb up there. Yeah, see you all later. <laughs> oh, not this big ass bitch again. Right, screw this. I'm raining down meteors. I'm so sick of this shit. Just end it now. Or not. I'm gonna die. What? Where's the meteors? There we go, there we go. Yo, it's Fortnite Season 4, back in 2018. <laughs> Come here, boy! Come here, boy! Come here, boy! Yeah, boys! Yeah! Are you here? Oh! Leave the charge, leave the charge, leave the charge. Yes, 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 yes. Choose a card out the gate, right? Please! Just let me save hours of my life by giving me a legendary card right here, right now. I have, like, so many toilet papers that I can even reshuffle the deck if it doesn't give me a legendary. Alright? So, we got multiple chances here. So, do not let me down. Don't let me down. down, 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 down. Alright, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's such a lifesaver. Because I've tried this before, you know? Just here and there, being like, oh, can I get a legendary? Never happens. And I actually got one. So, if I promote this legendary card for 250 toilet papers, I will get one of the most luck-based trophies out of the way. Let's go, promote! You like it now? Oh, fuck. Oh wait, maybe I'm just gonna select it. We have the ultra legendary, that's what I need for the trophy. If it somehow glitches, <laughs> it won't go bang. Let's go! Come on! Acquire an ultra legendary upgrade. Oh my god. I never have to do that again. <laughs> That's only a bronze trophy as well. You're probably like, oh, this is not that big of a deal. But trust me, once you start playing this game, you will see that you rarely come across them legendary cards. I'm getting excited now. All I've got to do is make it to Cartman and make sure I don't hit any of his snow globe things. When I'm fighting him, and then we'll have a big gold trophy on our hands, boys and girls. Oh, it's quite over that sound now, ain't it, boy? Whoa! Oh, 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 he's reeling me in, but it's a death slinger. What? Right, no, 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 no. I've got to be careful, because if you do die, if you do die, and all your teammates die, you do actually, it, it's game over. You have to redo the whole level again. Why have I spat my controller? I'm not even shouting around. Why am I spitting? Come on. Uh, right, that's them, that's them, that's them. Is that the real guy? Not, no, 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 well, I don't want to hit him, though. God damn it, new kid, knock it off. Okay, my ally actually exposed him. So, yeah, he's got these clones. You saw them there? I cannot hit- Oh my god! What are you doing, you fucking ogre? Jumping on me like that? Okay, now he's got a fucking bat out. Troll! Troll of the dungeon! <laughs> Troll of the dungeon! Right, he's safe to get hit now, come on. Let's use the wand. Nice, nice. Nah, this guy's so... Yo, he's so good! This troll! I'm literally playing on easy! This feels like an Elden Ring! Like, what am I doing here? No. You see, you gotta dodge and all. It's a, it's a Souls game! It actually is a Souls game. Whoa! Why have I got this floaty from the swimming pool again? Remember smacking him off the water? <laughs> Making a like impact? What is... <laughs> Last few hits here. Last few hits here. We got him! Let's go! Do you know your enemy? No, the enemy, I know when I'm the enemy. Oh, yeah. Defeat Cartman without damaging any stationary deco, that's what they call it. Just a wee snow globe. So, yeah, nice gold trophy there. We made it to the boss fight, got it done. And that's it for now. Alright, so I went for another luck based trophy here, and I took a few tries, but I eventually got the Event Horizon card which then allowed me to fire projectiles into my black hole. So it, it sounds hard, but 
I just spawned in the black hole beside an enemy and then used the bow and arrow to just shoot bows at the black hole and that popped the trophy. Now, as I said earlier, there are trophies tied to boss fights that I missed the first time around, like this one, where I had to fight my way back to the end of chapter 5 to fight the poo boss again. And during this fight, he has poo minions that attack you. So all I had to do was destroy 50 of these guys and boom, I got a gold trophy. Then I went through to another boss fight, I let him down me and then I farted on him because that's a trophy as well. Oh look, then I had to fight yet another boss for a trophy. And this time I had to let my allies die so they didn't finish him because that happens. Then I had to wear him down to the point where he was nearly dead but not quite. Then I used my invisible ability and finished him with a melee attack and that was for a trophy as well. All right, so I have to replay chapter three for the maybe third or fourth time to get a gold trophy where I have to beat it in under 25 minutes. Let's go. And I've got to keep in mind here, like this is a speed run. I have to get this done in under 25 minutes or else I'll have to do it again. Oh shit, you okay? Right, I'm gonna have to, can you hurry? Like why are you walking so fucking slow? Gotta get in here behind these guys. No, cause it's not even, where even is this bro? It's quite a fucking fence. Yeah. Why is that happening? Oh my... No, totem, 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 totem. I've never seen this item be behind a fence before. That's not really... Have I died? No, I haven't. Right. I guess we can just break this down. Yeah. Pick it up. Oh, this is going to be so hard to get out of, though. And I'm moving like a fucking snail. Just... No, he's boxed himself in. The dweeb. Just get... Get, I, he's, he's gonna die. Please, mate, don't end the run. Don't end the run. And we've died. Oh, you know what that means, guys? That means that we have to restart the level from scratch. Isn't that just exactly what you fucking want? I'm sitting, sitting through these same fucking chapters time and time again might actually kill me because it's so painfully fucking boring. That I might just fucking crumble up and die like a wait and scorn. I can't fucking do this anymore. <laughs> I can't fucking. Can you just go? Fucking hell. No, 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 not the bomb, not the bomb. Where even is the beacon, bro? Where, where, am I, where am I meant to go? Where am I meant to go? It expires in like 10 seconds. You, you want me to go all the way up there, do you? And how about the time? Fucking hell! Like brownies, oh, right? get off, you ginger! Where's the quickest? Can you run? Like I'm fucking pressing sprint, you little shit! No, he's just gonna walk. Sweet ass. Don't want to run anyway, actually. No, I, I don't want to save time. In fact, I want to. I want to waste more time. Yeah, it expired again. I don't know where the fuck to go. There is no quick way up here. I. I'm restarting. I'm restarting because that. <laughs> right, which fire? Get up. Get up. I'm. S <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. This is not happening, bro. This is not happening. No. Just dodge. Just dodge and go. Right there, right there, right there. Where, I don't even know where I am. Like, what? What is actually happening? Get down! Right, get the witch fire. Get. Holy f. I. I. Yo. Why are you so slow? I don't understand why I can't run anymore. No, climb up. I confirm the test right, has been all the beating because it only took 40 years, right? Fucking hell. Why are these boss fights harder than the Dark Souls? This is easy. This is easy. This is easy difficulty. This is easy difficulty. Yeah, right. We might still have a chance here. We might still be under 25 minutes. No, what is he fucking playing at? Can you just stay still? And hit. Holy f. Well, he's literally one shot! Someone finish him, please. Just 
tag him. Oh. I was trying to say nothing. Yeah, nah. I, I, I knew I had that in the bag, you know. We, we easily done that under 25 minutes. Um, nah, but for real, I reckon we could have been in like 24 minutes there, because that, oh, uh, that... There's no way that wasn't tight. We took a long-ass time doing that chapter. So much stood in our way, and fucking hell, I just, you know... I, I wasn't happy there. Um, but we got it done, all right? And that leaves us with one more trophy to get this platinum. And that one trophy could actually still be a big problem. All we have to do is revive an ally with a cheesed necro. But I've tried this already and it was not working. So yeah, it's going to be hard to do. It's very luck based. So f*** knows how this is going to work, but... We'll, we'll hope for the best. So the thing is, these necromancers don't appear until like halfway through chapter 4. So I have to get through all this to get to the part where the necromancers will be. And there's like only a few of them as well. So this is going to be hard, you know, to, to get one of them to revive. But really, oh, not the f***ing tree. This just hurts. Like, why is this hood pissing me off as well? Digging into my back. Right, we're ready to move. Come on. Give me them necromancers. Oh, no, wait. What is this? Oh, I get to fight more elves? Oh my god, that's so exciting! I've never done this before. I've died. We're all about to die. And then I'll have to restart this fucking chapter again. Oh my. I can't, I can't. Number three, come on, please get over here. Number three, please. I'll try and get. Holy shit. Congratulations, South Park. You have single-handedly made the worst game of all time. How the f*** do you feel? How the f*** do you feel? Does it feel good to make people suffer through your shitty-ass games? The amount of times I've seen this f***, the amount of times I've played Chapter 4 is just so ridiculous. And we have to sit, well, I don't really we have to sit through the cards again. Oh my fucking god. god. I'm about to burn. Right, I don't care. I do not care about your shitty. Oh, we play cards because we're nerdy little shitheads that sit in the canteen at school hitting tech decks and using checkerboards. I do not care. All right, boys and girls, we are at, I think, the only area in the game where these necro dancers will spawn. There is one right there. So, I've made it through chapter four to get them to spawn. Let's not do all that again. Let's do this right and let's get this platinum trophy. Number four is going down. Your number four is going down. There's a necro right there. Holy shit. Revive him, bro. Cheese him up. Go revive. And we get the plot. Revive him, we get the plot. Revive him, we get the plot. Go on, revive him. Not you! You get in there! Go! No, my teammate's gonna pick him up. Fuck off. Go away. There he is. Let me cheese him up. Cheese him up. Revive him. They're right there. Revive him. They're right there. They're right there. Yes! He did it. He fucking did it. You see? He's revived. What? Sorry? What just happened? What? No. 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. I saw him do the fucking pour. He brought both my teammates up. What is going like what is going what is going on? What I don't understand You've made these I bet my tongue. Oh you see now it's getting personal developers because you're making me injure myself over your sheer fing stupidity Like I don't oh. <laughs> you want me to revive my teammate using a necrodancer with a cheese ability? That's what I do. The necrodancer uses this big stick. Oh, look at me, I've got a fucking stick. I am Gandalf from the South Park regions. Revives them up, and you. I'm gonna throw up. You don't give me a trophy. Like, what's that about? What's that about? I should have the platinum. It should be over. This miserable, fucking, torturous experience should be over. But no, instead, I die. I f***ing die, and guess what guys, guess what, I get to replay chapter 4 again! Yes! Yes! That 
is exactly what I wanted to do for the seventh fucking time. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I gotta. I gotta get a break. I gotta get a break. I really have to. I have to do this again. I really have to do this again. Have you ever heard of checkpoints, you fucking geniuses? No. Because we're actually funny enough. We're in 2024, right? Games have checkpoints, my guy. But ah, uh, nah, sure, we'll just start way back from the beginning of the chapter, no problem. No, that's not, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm happy to just do the same shitty combat again and again and again. It's actually pleasurable. No, it is. Trust me, it is. No, the teammate's reviving them. No! Don't revive! I need the necro overheat. Where'd he go? Where'd he, he's overheat. Get closer, get closer. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Hit it! Oh. Let's go! I can't believe it! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Give me that platinum! Not you, JT! Oh my god. Platinum number 28 on the board. South Park Snow Day. Yeah, you, you saw what happens. You saw how terrible it is. So take this video as a warning. Do not go anywhere near this shit. You will fucking suffer. I am telling you right now, you will suffer. It's hell. How long did that take? I felt like years. 16 hours. You're meant to get it done in like eight. So there we have it, my friends. That is it for the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.